Hi everybody, it's Gailani. Um, in today's video, we are going to go through all of the books that I've bought pretty much since the beginning of the year. Most of them are from February, a couple are from January though. Um, there are 19 books. They're not going to be in any order. I just threw them in a pile and we're just going to grab off the top of the pile. So hopefully you uh, stick around and hopefully you enjoy. So the first book we have is actually a Jungle Book version. It's one of these beautiful covers. I know that there's like a collection of these. I don't know. It, it says Harper Design, so I don't know if that's what it is. But it's one of the ones that has like the interactive features inside where you can do like different things. So like this spins. And uh, yeah, but it is the Jungle Book. I'm sure most of you know what the Jungle Book is. It's about a child who pretty much grows up in the forest and the animals are trying to get him out of the forest. The next book we have is The Hazel Wood and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Like, come on. Um, it is a book about a girl and her mother who are traveling their whole life because they're trying to stay ahead of their bad luck and then the grandmother dies and they go to her house and they, I think she finds like notes and she's like, her grandma's keep trying to keep her out of the hazel wood. Um, I literally got this one because of that cover though. I mean, the, the concept sounds pretty good, but that cover, ugh. The next book I got was Jane Eyrie. It is this really pretty cover and it's um, like faux leather. So it's a really nice material. Um, I feel like we know what this is about, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. I just wanted to show off this beautiful book. It also has one of those little like tassels, so I feel like it's so fancy. And then I actually got three books like this one. So I got Jane Eyrie, Little Woman, Women, not Woman, and it's also that like fake leather. Oh, it just feels so nice. And then the like the foil. I just love foil covers. I can't get over them. And then. Uh, Wuthering Heights is the other one that I got. Same thing, that faux leather, beautiful foil cover, just love it. So the next book I got is the first book of the Infernal Devices series. I read the Shadowhunter series like so, so long ago and I actually am trying to catch back up and I only made it through I think the fourth book before I stopped or whenever the movie happened like that's when I stopped reading the books because the movie just was not good and so I'm ready to get back into it. I have the first four books somewhere amongst my book collection that is not where I live so I'm pretty excited to, to uh, get back into that. So the next book I got was Every Harder Doorway. Um, I loved it. I've already read it. Um, I really hope to continue this series. We'll see how my year goes, but I really loved it and I just hope to keep reading it. So the next book I got was Scythe. I know a lot of people really like this. I really like the concept of like this utopia that you get, there's no really such thing as a utopia. They always end up something else, but this uh, utopia where people kill people because the population just won't go down naturally anymore so i'm pretty excited to get into it um but yeah all right so the next book i got was the amateurs it's just this beautiful purple cover honestly that's why i bought it is because it's purple i have no other reason just i love this purple with these little splashes of yellow i think it's a murder mystery it has like these fingerprints on it i can't really tell i don't think but like oh well, there you go and uh, that's why I'm pretty sure it's a murder mystery. I really didn't read much into it. Um, high school senior disappears from her backyard and is never to be heard from again. So maybe not a murder mystery, but definitely a mystery thriller maybe. So pretty excited about that one. And then the next book I got was Frankly in Love. And this book has been on my TBR for a while. I know a lot it's kind of maybe an older one, but I just saw it. At it's not older because it probably came out in 2019, but I just saw it at Barnes & Noble with these beautiful edges and I was like, that's the book I'm going to pick up. So, frankly in love. So the next book that I picked up was um, Dragon Sworn by Sherilyn Kenyon and I love her. She is the first like adult romance author that I ever read. I actually started reading her freshman year of high school. So maybe a little bit young, but she is just stunning and I love her and her life has been struggles the last couple years. So if you don't know who she is, definitely check her out. She definitely can appreciate some love and just, uh, I love her. The next book I got was Some Kind of Happiness. 
And this is another cover that I think is just beautiful. It's so simple and ugh, it's so what I wanted in life. And this is about a girl who is maybe a little bit depressed and she ends up going to live with her grandparents because her parents are having um, some struggles and so she goes to live with her grandparents and this magical world that she thought she created ends up being what is existing in her grandparents backyard and it is in trouble and she is trying to save it. So the next book I picked up is actually an old arc of the book Nightjar. I'm not entirely sure how, I know you're not supposed to sell arcs but I found this at a Goodwill so I don't know if how like how they are on that kind of stuff. Um, this is about a girl who finds out that she has the magical power to see what she is calling um, magical birds that guard human souls and I think her friend goes missing but her uh, guard, magical bird is still there so she is trying to find out about her friend um, and I just I love that cover like the gold and the black what wouldn't you love about that? So the next uh, book that I picked up is Fangirl. I actually rented this from the library and I actually found this at a store, I can't remember which one, and it was it was on sale and I just had to have it and it's got these beautiful colored edges and it's got a nice cover and it's got edges. I'm buying it. That is my story at this point. I'm just, yes please. So Fangirl, it's actually on my TBR for this month so I'll let you know. So like I said, Fangirl is on my TBR and then the next two books I'm talking about are on my TBR as well because it is The Scent Keeper, which is the Reese Witherspoon book club of the month, or book of the month for this month. Um, it's about a girl who, her dad has keeps scents, I think, and she like has to discover why he does that and where she came from. And so that is the next book I picked up. Um, and then the other one that I picked up for this month for my TBR is American Dirt, which I know is popular, I know it's out there. Um, it's the Oprah's book club, it's also the Barnes & Noble book club, and then Book of the Month had it. So everyone is on this book. I haven't started it yet. I'm kind of hesitant to, but I do like the, I like the cover. Who doesn't like covers? I'm, I'm, I'm just a cover whore, I guess. So that is one of the other books that I picked up this month. And then I actually found two other arcs. I didn't buy these ones. They are from a bookstore near me that just, once the owners read the arc, they let other people take the arc. So I found Lakewood, which comes out in March of 2020. And it's about a girl and it, it delves into the sacrifices she'll make to keep her family uh, functional and keep them with money, I guess. Um, she goes to a medical place in Michigan and she pretty much lets them experiment her on her until until what point I guess is the point of the story and then the other arc that I got from that same bookstore is um, the book of V and it comes out in May and I really don't know what this one's about. oh this is a like three different women and we the last line is the Book of V is a bold and contemporary investigation into the lives of women across centuries. So that's, I guess, kind of what the book is about. Pretty excited. Black and gold again. You gotta love it. And then, of course, I saved the best for last. And this book is stunning, okay? So it's the Throne of Glass Collector's Edition. And it is in this beautiful box. And then it pulls out. And this is the back with that awesome cold foil and then this is the front and I saw this and I just couldn't I couldn't leave the bookstore without it you know like look at it and then it goes right back into this beautiful thing I can't get it right back in right now and then like the swords on the back of the box as well oh it's just so beautiful you guys I can't help it so that's all the books I have for you. Hopefully you saw something you liked and you go out and buy it yourself or rent it or however you read books. And I hope to show you the covers again in another video in maybe my February TBR video or my February wrap up video. Um, definitely leave some comments. Let me know what you think and which cover was your favorite. And uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff that apparently I want. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.